What's up guys and welcome back to Tech Rage. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so and click that bell notification as well so you get sort of notifications for any future uh, videos I upload. But for today, uh, I've been lucky enough to be sent out an AIO by ID Calling and this is it. This is the, the Frost Flow Plus 280. So it's a 280 millimeter all-in-one uh, cooler for your CPU. So we're gonna get this bad boy installed and see how it performs. All right, so this is the 2A. This is the biggest radiator you can get from RD Cooling. Now on the rear, you've got all your specs and your socket types. It will fit all Intel and AMD, except for Threadripper, but that's no surprise. So inside you've got your instructions, your manual on how to fit everything. It's in English and I think Japanese or Chinese, you know, uh, but it sort of covers all bases. You get your accessories for either AMD or Intel. You get your 140 millimeter fans with noise dampeners as well if you feel you need them. Don't forget to take the little sticker off the bottom before you apply. You do get supplied a thermal paste as well, which is really good. And overall, it feels pretty light. It feels pretty durable. You've got brushed aluminium on the radiator itself. You've got the sleeved cables there. And generally on first impressions, it looks pretty good. So you've got your white 140 millimeter fans, which are really gonna push the, the heat away from that radiator. You've got 380 millimeter nylon sleeved tubing. Now this actually feels really durable, really solid, uh, quite a good build quality on this. I thought it would be a little bit cheaper considering the price of this unit. And you've got the pump itself, you've got an LED ring sort of around the outside and then the logo in the middle which lights up. They're all white, it's no RGB here, but the, uh, the color that it produces is really good and actually matches uh, my GPU as well. Now the fans, although they're not LED, you could easily upgrade them in the future if you needed to. All your accessories are there to put both the fans into one connection. You've got your AMD connections there and all your screws and everything else to get you started. And like I said, you do get ID cooling uh, thermal paste as well, but obviously if you've got your own, then just go ahead and use that. So at the moment, I've got my NZXT Kraken, I think it's an X64 or 62, something like that. And it's served me well for a long time now. So it's got quite a bit of competition to compare with. So let's get this taken out and put the RD Cooling 280 in. Now, I just want to say that this is not a knockoff of other brands where it's just been rebranded or anything else. This has actually been designed, built from scratch by ID Calling. Now, that's quite important. So keep that in mind, you know, when you're making your purchase decision, because there are knockoff brands out there and people just copy each other and just change the logo around. This is purely from ID Calling. So keep that in mind. Installation was pretty simple. Everything was sort of guided out in the manual, depending on what socket set you've got. I had more trouble getting the old one out than putting the new one in. You've only got one cable coming off of that pump, so it's really easy to sort of cable manage uh, and just get everything in place. Just wow, I've got all of this installed. It actually looks amazing. Now this is a $59.99 AIO cooler. $59.99, seriously. It's that price in the UK and the US. Now what I found here is with these fans at the top, they actually reflected the LEDs from inside the case. So although they're not RGB, you still actually get quite a good effect where it's reflecting off any colors that are inside the case. Now, like I said, the pump itself has only got a white LED, but it actually shines through pretty brightly with the logo in the middle. I really do like it, it does stand out. Noise wise, the fans are a little bit noisier than my NZXTs, but if that's much of a problem, then you can always swap them out and maybe get some RGB goodness in the future. Now I run IDA 64 just to get some heat going through, you know, 100% capacity, just to see how it compares to the big boys of the NZXT and the Corsairs. 
And I was really, really surprised. I tested my NZXT before I installed this and I got 72C. Now I've put this in, now this costs half as much as the NZXT does and it's doing the exact same performance. That's right, exactly the same. Although it's slightly noisier, you're actually getting the same thermal performance than you do from some of the big boys. So all right, the styling's not as good as what you might pay for some of the others. But to be fair, you're still getting LED lighting, you're still getting good performance and good build quality. And that's the main thing. And if you've got room to have a 280 millimeter rad in your system, then it's just a no brainer to get something like this. This is actually a little bit thinner than the one I previously had. So it actually saves a tiny bit of space so it's not pushing up against my memory there. And it actually looks good. Looking through the glass, looking at it, it stands out. You've got the ID calling logo at the top. You've got the logo of the pump there as well. Just all in all, 10 out of 10 from me. Price point, performance, just build quality, noise, absolutely everything stunning. Well done to ID calling. Right, so there we have it, the Frostro Plus 280. What's your verdict on it? If you've got one, let me know what you think, or if you're thinking of buying one, and you've got some questions, ask in the comments below. Now for his price range, it's absolutely amazing. Really you're getting really good build quality, performance. Absolutely, it just ticks all the boxes. And it's really good to see sort of some of these what are considered underdogs um, nowadays. They're not really underdogs, are they? Because the performance just matches those of, you know, you, the big brands like your Corsair and your NZXT. Um, so yeah, brilliant. I look forward to seeing other products here from RD Cooling. Uh, check out the link in the description below if you want to get yourself one of these. And I will see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take it easy.